Hello everyone, Nick the Gaming Honor here, and um, if you've read the title, you have seen that recently I've been banned by speedrun.com, and I will get into the specifics, my actions, and everything, what's going to go happening moving forward. So, this is, it. I'm going through a lot right now. So, when I saw the email yesterday, I just was like, can I talk to someone? And of course... This is how American society is. American society is so broken that basically people can lie their way to number one. Okay, so we will start with a disclaimer. Please do not bully, harass, or target my competitors. So even if they are in the wrong, we have to do this the civil way, the right way. And uh, I just want to go for the record that if I do not get unbanned, I will be going through the proper channels and going through diplomatically and that's just how this has to be done. This has to be done diplomatically. Uh, so yesterday I got an email while I was working and the email said, you have been banned from speedrun.com for inappropriate behavior. So then I questioned it. They said, we cannot reveal the information so this person can basically do what they want and lie to our face but you have been banned for inappropriate behavior of stalking, obsession, and uh, stalking, obsession, oh, harassment, right. Stalking, obsession, and harassment. So I just want to make it clear, I've never met any of my competitors. Everything has been done online. I do not talk to this person, but they seem to take the response of me winning like a blue regard kazoo from Imaginary Friends by kicking me in the shins and calling me a ripoff artist. So, uh, you know, I don't know what to say other than calling this person out and be like, Regina, I'm sorry, but you lost. And Regina, you're not the queen bee. But anyway, uh, you know, there's a lot of victim blaming here from my competitor. Uh, honey, if you're gonna victim blame, at least take a page from Taylor Swift and learn a little better. But, you know, we can play that game all day, and i really rather not. Uh, I mean, I'm in another video, but I'm not gonna release that one because it's too long, and I really just want to get to the point of this one. So, my, here's my plan of action, and I'm gonna voice this to you guys. So, disclaimer, do not bully, harass, or go after any of my competitors. Uh, I have not ask any of my audience to go after this person and I make it very clear. I don't know how clear I can make it. So clear that even if they try to false narrative clear, that if they do it, they're wrong. That's how clear I want to make it, right? So no matter what, there is no misinterpretation. There's no taking my thing out of context. Do not bully, do not harass, do not go after this person. Leave them alone. Leave them in their own failure of sins and guilt because that's what they have done, okay? So if they're going to abuse, abuse the platform, then they have to live with that. That is their cross to bear, not mine. So I ask my audience to do me a favor. I ask my audience to email the site that I will be leaving in the description below. And I asked them to say, the gaming honor did not commit any of the acts of obsession, harassment, or bullying because their competitor is playing against the rules by using a false narrative. And therefore, they should be banned for what they're doing. And that's the truth. But we know that, uh, you know, there's many ways this can go. The only thing I ask is that I get unbanned so I can have my records. Uh, I went fair and square, you know, I was pulling bags every day in December and doing the street pass stuff. I did not hack any of my me's. I didn't hack the homelands, nothing. And you know, I'm sorry if me coming forward and asking questions is harassment, but if asking a question is harassment, then probably we would all live in our house like the 2020 pandemic and no one would be afraid to look at their own, and everyone would be afraid to look at their own shadow. And I'm sorry, I do not want to live in the world of 2020. I want to be able to live and breathe and ask questions 
because that's the truth about life. I don't care what political game you play. I don't care what you do. But if you're going to make rules and guidelines, everybody has to follow it. So uh, I'm letting my competitor know that if they're playing dirty, well, it's going to come back into their face. And uh, it's nothing that I have to do. It's everything that they're doing to me. And eventually people will call this person out. And I'm sorry, you cannot ban someone who beat your record. You cannot do that. And to claim bullying, harassment, and obsession is hilarious when I've never talked to you in person. And I've stopped commenting on your videos since this year of January when you told me to leave, me alone, to leave you alone in the first place. So I respected your rules. So you did not respect me. So now I have to come in swinging and I have to come in and defend myself. And so, and that is how life works. If I don't advocate for myself, who will? Because clearly you don't know how to advocate for anybody. You don't know how to advocate for your community. You know how to advocate for the speedrun community. And clearly you're not a part of the same family that I'm part of. So I am very sorry for this person and I wish them a change of heart. And I hope that they do everything in their power to see that I'm just as much right as they are to run their games and do what they like. And if they have a problem, they need to come up to me and ask and be an adult and not a child. That's how that works. And I'm sorry for having to say all of this, but if I don't, then this person is going to abuse their rights and their privilege and their power, and they're going to steamroll everybody else on that record board. And it's going to be ugly. It's going to be disgusting. And when that happens, I'm just going to put my hands up and I said, I told you this was going to turn to Twin Galaxies if you did not say anything. If you did not do anything. So, we are in a problem situation. This person, my competitor, has a lot of power. They have a lot of weight in this speedrun community. And all I ask them, again, is for a change of heart and to contact me instead of being petty Regina George bad. So, uh, there's a word we use to describe this situation. Collusion. She is committing collusion. And we know who you are. You're committing collusion by doing this. You are colluding with the database. And you are no better. My competitor is no better than Billy Mitchell. And I'm so sorry that you feel so inclined to take your records back by banning me. But if you're going to go get your record back, please just rerun the game. It's not that hard. I know you can do it. You've done it many times. And you bought new systems when you said that I shouldn't buy any. And I read every record and I read everything. So you might want to think twice as hard about making rules that you break of your own before you end up following rules that you made for yourself to then unfortunately push your agenda in a way that's manipulative and disgusting. I don't know what else more to say. Uh, I'm glad that I didn't extend this video out longer than the other one. I apologize about my voice. So I, I don't know what to say to my viewers. I just ask that people support me by emailing the site, asking them to repeal my ban, that my ban is unfounded and abuses a false narrative by someone who is clearly jealous that they lost. Because if we don't, we don't do this, speedrun.com will become the water games of Twin Galaxies. And this collusion will persist. And we already have this problem every day. And it's up to the site to maintain its standards of integrity and dignity to protect the records. And if someone claims bully harassment, you cannot swing the ban hammer without asking questions. Because if that were to happen, loose lips sink ships. So, I want to thank you all for watching. I mean, I don't know if I should be disgusted or proud of my speedrock.com. Maybe both, but, you know, I don't have a PhD in women's studies like Dr. Robotnik, but it doesn't take any doctor or degrees to tell you what's going on here. And it's clearly in the direction of my opponent is colluding and collusion should be banned. So I ask that my 
records be put back on the leaderboards and that I be repealed on my ban. And again, if I will not, I will seek the proper channels because I just wanted to run the records. After I do my job every day, a nine to five, and I have to push people that aren't always the nicest. So thank you for understanding. Like, comment, subscribe. Email will be in the description below. Please do not target or go after this person. Leave them alone. They need to sit in the corner and think about what they've done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe.